Determine. Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. Free throws are a huge part of basketball games. Sometimes free throws can determine who wins and who loses. Unfortunately, many players cannot shoot consistent free throws and get nervous when they are put on the spot to make a free throw in a game, especially in crucial moments. I don't want this to happen to you. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a free throw in basketball. Let's go. In and out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to shoot a successful free throw every time. Whether the ball goes in or out does not determine the success. There's one thing that determines success. I'm going to share that with you coming up. Then I'm going to tell you how knowing your numbers will increase your free throw percentage. It's amazing to me that many players are not aware of how much this simple concept affects their free throw shooting. Last, I'm going to share with you the number one thing that will make or break your free throw percentage. Now let's get into how to shoot a successful free throw every time. And that's establishing a routine. A routine is like a system. And a system is created to produce a predictable result. My routine at the free throw line was always this. I wouldn't call it superstition but it was my routine. I would always walk up to the free throw line and I would have to touch my shoes five times. I don't know why, but it was just something that calmed my nerves. So when the referee handed me the basketball, I could be successful at shooting the free throw. Now, the reason why I said success and by definition to me, success is nothing more than a worthy idea reached. In this case, it wasn't about me making the shot successfully. We, we, we can obviously say that. But what I, where I was successful at, not only in my routine, but I shot the basketball straight to the basket. That's success every time. And what happens, nothing against it. I've been there before, you get nervous, you end up coming up short because you feel that pressure on it's your fault if you miss this shot. Or you get up and you brick it. You shoot it hard. Been, been in both situations, been there before, even air ball free throws. I've talked more from my failures, that's why I teach from my failures more than anything, okay? But the success I'm talking about is for me it was again touching my the bottom of my shoes five times you see players like kevin durant right they come up they he shakes his shoulders some players put the ball they wrap the ball around their waist you see some players kind of like act as if their hands are cold that's just nothing more than a routine after my five touches when i get the basketball from the referee i would spin the basketball i would dribble two to three times just depends on the situation i would get the ball set i would go up and shoot it um, before I tell you how knowing your numbers will increase your free throw shooting percentage, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel. I'm putting out videos daily to develop you into a premium basketball player. Don't miss out on the content. Click the subscribe button. About, now let's talk about how knowing your numbers while shooting free throws will increase your free throw shooting percentage. See, the average free throw shooter shoots around 70 to 80 percent. Okay? with low 70s being an adequate to good free throw shooter to 85% being a really great shooter, right? Very rarely somebody will shoot 90%. If they do, that's like all time best. But just simply understanding that. So you understand, I was always a 77 to 78% free throw shooter in games, right? That, that's good. That's really good. See, again, I'm telling you my numbers because that's the way I practiced. When I, my point of view when I practiced, right? And again, to show you real time, if I'm shooting five shots, let's just talk jump shots. If I'm shooting five shots, I want to make 80% of those shots, right? I have to give room for a miss. I just missed one, right? I'll focus up these next three. 
they are guaranteed to go in the hole. One, here's two, shoot straight, here's three, four for five. Easily we can say, I accomplished the goal. Took five shots, missed one, made four, that's 80%. Now, when I get in the game on jump shots, I'm at least, I'm going to expect to make half as many because now I'm human. There's going to be nerves. There's going to be anxiety. Them, you're going to miss some crucial ones. It's going to happen. But knowing your numbers will have you be more confident attacking the basket. Also, too, knowing your numbers is also knowing the foul count. Right? If there is five fouls and you're two fouls away from what we call a one and one situation where now everything after the seventh foul becomes a one and one situation where you get one shot, you make it, you get the second shot, then I'm telling my teammates in communication, hey, no one's shooting jump shots. We're doing what? We're attacking the basket. Because now we don't actually have to be in the act of shooting in order to shoot free throws. This puts pressure on the defense on the team now that's on defense. Now when I drive and you bump me, I step up to the line. That's even more confidence. Even more confidence. That's a part of knowing your numbers. So once you understand your numbers again, now you're more aware on how to understand game management. There you have it. Now that you know how to establish a routine shooting free throws and you know your numbers and why it's important to understand your free throw shooting percentage and also be aware of what's going on in the court to shoot bonus shots, one plus the bonus to shoot two free throws. I want you to come up below with the free throw percentage that you're going to shoot in your next game. I want you to call it. Maybe it's 73%. Maybe it's 80%. Whatever it is, I want you to go ahead and drop that percentage in the comment section. Now I'm going to share with you the number one thing that will break or make your free throw shooting percentage. It all comes down to your focus. Focus for me is also an acronym. You must find one course until successful. And that one course of action I'm describing is you must block out all distractions. You may have fans flashing you, signs, waving things, calling you all kind of names. Been there, done that before. Very not nice people, I should say, right? Been called everything you want to be called at the free throw line. You suck. You're a bust. You can't shoot. Everything. You got to learn to block that out. They have the right. They're a fan. They're trying to do everything they can to distract you so you don't have focus. You focus more on them and your feelings. you got to learn how to override that. Right? Hey, guess what? Check it out. I got a foul. They're yelling all kind of things. You can't shoot. Coach Charlie, you suck. It wasn't Coach Charlie back then. Now, in my head, I might be saying, you suck too, but guess what? I keep it to myself with a smile on my face as I have to block out distractions. I go through my routine, five touches, get the basketball from the referee, spin the basketball, take my two to three dribbles, depends, take my two to three dribbles, get set, lift up, shoot it. Make that first one, give my teammates a high five, get ready to set up our defense. As I'm more relaxed because that first one went in, Step up, make that shot, there you have it. That's simple. That's how you shoot. That's how you do a free throw in basketball. To be successful, you just want to shoot the basketball consistently and repeatedly in straight lines. And at the same time, you got to block out distraction because it all becomes mental. A lot of times, a lot of players don't drive to the basket in fear of stepping up, allowing the distractions to come in, because now when they shoot it, they're nervous. They don't fully extend as if they're by themselves. See, I would always imagine no one's in the gym but me and this basketball. And I got to step up and knock down this shot. Instead, he suggests that if you make that first free throw, 
The second one will go in at a high percentage because you're more relaxed versus you miss that first free throw. Sometimes you can miss that first one. And you're like, ooh, I got it out of the way. Now I can just step up, relax, let the basketball go, and just shoot it, okay? But for me, knowing your, knowing your free throw shooting percentage would also just help you play this game and manage it way better. So then when you step up at the free throw line, you just find one course until successful. You just block out distractions. You become focused. Now that you know how to shoot a free throw in basketball, how would you like to have a guide that covers all the must-know basketball principles and in what situation to apply them? Well, you are in luck. If you click in the link in the description of this video below, you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.